so stupid that I forgot to measure how deep should I go with this drill. That is very stupid. Tomorrow. Years later. Today I will buy a residual current device. I got it from AliExpress, it's really, really cheap. It comes either before or after the search. That's I, I don't currently know. I have to figure out. I will search from Google how, how these are wired normally. Here is the printed holder for that. It's a little bit wider than this search holder because this is only two units wide. I don't know if this is so called in units, but anyways, the, uh, double the white for this basic search this comes here like so connects normally with this v slot v slot nuts and this v slot bolts and i orient this like this in a sideways 12 seconds later Two thousand inches later.
Unfortunately, I lost 1.5 hours of footage because this stupid Akaso crap camera. So it hanged again, showed that yeah, it's recording, but I lost part of the footage. That's why I've been cutting the footage in smaller pieces, but unfortunately the last bit, which was still long, uh, I managed to lose that. So and now you don't, you can see how I connect this. Anyway, I used some small razors. You can see here, it's kind of aluminum, small razor bits. Uh, I raised it a little bit up and then connected with these kind of screws that came in the package here. Not very good idea, maybe that too, but that's all I have now. Uh, I have to use these tools that I have in here to get this uh, first part, to get it f uh, function. My plan is to create a program that I can use this drill to be uh, create holes in this plate because in this nice Makita package I have these these parts uh, that will hold those uh, parts that I actually will work with in this plate. I will use these parts to do that and that's all then I can run the first run the machine for the first time in a real scenario. Other problems what I still have is that this cheat axis is wobbling as you can hear from the sound but the problem you will realize here I will do some work to adjust them that's all for now. 20 minutes later. So I took away this uh, stepper motor just to, and this housing here just to be able to calibrate, calibrate Z-axis now. Now I turned these adjustment screws here and now it's very good and it's still moving pretty easily. So it's not too tight and looks very good from everywhere. I think now this is like excellent. One eternity later. So it has time now to test this for the first time and make those holes to this display. I just need to use Bronder face this time to lower this Z axis and then send that G92 or something. I have it up there in the computer. Send that to set the Z axis to zero. Then I have a ear protection because it seems like this Makita keeps a lot of noise. And of course I have my goggles to protect eyes because I don't really know what happens to this end bit here or how this goes. I will be trying to use it with a full speed and the feed rate is, I think it's very optimal now for this wooden plate, but we will see that soon. So let's see how it goes. Actually, this is a good try, but I'm so stupid that I forgot to measure how deep should I go with this drill. That is very stupid. I have to change my program. Eventually. So as you can saw, it works. It cut those holes and those are super clean. But those were holes. Uh, this bit, what, what I'm using, is meant for routing this plate. So it's actually cutting something. But I don't have nothing to cut yet. I do it in the next video, I think. Uh, because I have a one problem that I need to sort. As you can see, everywhere, every, everywhere this dust. And it's very bad. Because it's going to my electronics, I know this from the beginning, and the most worst part is that it's going to my power supply, which, which doesn't probably like that wood wood stuff. And especially when I start carving that aluminium, it will if that will go there, it will short it, and most likely burn something, maybe even the house. But I will always watch this out. Uh, so one of the things is that I need to create some sort of vacuum vacuum cleaning system to this. Uh, because this is 
spokes from this Makita kit. Um, it, it actually came with that thing that you can connect to it and it has that vacuum cleaner connection. I'm not gonna use a vacuum cleaner, I use some sort of auto, auto blower I have and just push it out from the house, uh, all the dust. I think I do it that way. So, but that's not part of this project. So I think so far this looks successful and in the future I will try uh, carve some real stuff. For example, make some parts for friends and stuff. But now I start cleaning and I think this is a really good result. Yeah, I thank you for watching it. Hopefully it was interesting and you find all the firmware and uh, instructions from this Bitbucket you, uh, repository. You can clone it with any kind of Git client. So, happy routing and CNC machining. Thank you for watching.